Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have any of the following three vehicles, guys, Fiat 500, Chrysler 200, or Dodge Pro Master City, guys, with a 2.4 multi air engine, and you need to replace your camshaft position sensor, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain where it's located, how to remove it, and how to replace it. Now, as you can see, the engine is out of this car. You do not have to remove, guys, your engine. Why we got the engine out? Because we'll be making at least guys 100 videos probably on that engine and we want to show you with great detail how to fix practically guys anything on it. Okay, and that way we'll be able to show you, uh, show you the location of every boat and what needs to be done to fix and replace different components. In addition, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's go ahead, start on it and show you guys what needs to be done, okay, to replace the camshaft position sensor. When you open, uh, when you open guys the hood of your vehicle, you're going to face the engine that way. First thing that you need to do, you need to remove your engine cover. Grab it firmly and pull straight up guys. You have four bushings where it attaches to the engine. One, two, three, four. And let me show you where those poles attach, right here. One, two, three guys, four. So, okay, being, that being said now guys, let's explain what needs to be done. I'll come on this side so I can show you. On the right side of the cylinder here guys, okay, right here, you're going to have one sensor. Okay, this one right there. This is known as your camshaft position sensor. You have only one of that on that vehicle. You know, most of the vehicles nowadays they have two. This one you have one, guys. So what we need to do in order to replace it. Underneath there is one nut, okay, that we need to remove with a 10 millimeter socket. Gently remove that nut without dropping it. Perfect. After that, you can grab that thermal shield. This is the one to protect the sensor from the heat from the uh, exhaust and the catalytic converter. Here now that orange, uh, oh, brown thing, excuse me, needs to be pulled straight up, okay, but ours is broken, it's supposed to stay up. When you pull it, that's to unlock the safety pin. Then press in the back, okay, and disconnect it, okay, that's where you guys press. You can see, okay, right there and pull it out. After that, with the deep socket, 10 millimeter or wrench, remove that sensor, guys. That bolt and the sensor now, let me explain how to remove it. If you need to guys buy a new one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below where you can purchase one from for a good price, fast shipping guys, that's where we get our parts from. Never ever twist left or right, just go guys, straight out. You have an O-ring, rubber seal that gets stuck a little bit. Uh, when you get a new one, always apply a little bit of oil on the O-ring, that way you will not cause uh, any damage and it will slide in easy. Always make sure that a new sensor comes with an O-ring. Most of them will do. So that's how you guys remove it. Putting it together practically, guys, is in reverse order. We took it apart. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.